Welcome to the Winston Churchill Athletics Program College Signing Recognition Event. My name is Jesse Smith. I'm the Athletic Director at Winston Churchill High School, and I would like to take this time to introduce you to some amazing student athletes who will be continuing their athletic careers on the collegiate level following their graduation in 2020. In the past, we've held this event in our auditorium in front of family, friends, and former teammates, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, we are not able to do so. So we decided to do the next best thing, and that was to put together a video featuring all of our student athletes who will be signing their letters of intent along with coaches speaking about these athletes. So please enjoy the video and congratulations to all of our student athletes. I'm so proud of everything that you've accomplished in your four years at Winston Churchill High School and I expect you to do great things for the next 50. So with that being said, enjoy listening and seeing our student athletes as they sign their letters and intent and their and their former coaches speak on their behalf go bulldogs my name is jack smukak um i'm class of 2020 at churchill i'm sorry to everyone that's missed their senior season i'm bummed too uh, luckily i get to go to ursinus college to play baseball and i'm really looking forward to it Hi, this is Pat Skelchak, varsity coach, Churchill High School. I want to congratulate Jackson Bouquet on his commitment to your sinus college. He'll be going there as a right-handed pitcher. Pretty big body. Not sure what his ceiling is. Not sure how hard he's going to be able to throw when it's all said and done. But uh, they like him very much. Offered him a spot. And I'm very proud of him. Had limited interactions with him due to injury, but we were expecting him to pitch for us this year in 2020. So, you know, best of luck, Jackson. Hope you do well at college, and uh, we'll be following you, bud. Take care. Hello everyone. We are so proud of Madison Cuthbert for committing to Salisbury University uh, to continue her basketball career at the collegiate level. Um, I remember last year about this time, Madison came to me to discuss um, her thought process for what she wanted to do for college. And she had several potential schools on her list some for basketball, some for not. And when we talked through the decision-making process, I ultimately said to Madison, well, can you picture the next four years without basketball being part of your daily life? And I could tell from the look in her eyes that she was going to play and continue at the collegiate level, which made me extremely proud, but also knowing that she had come to this decision on her own. Madison has been um, part of our program at Churchill all four years, a varsity player for three of those years, and she continued to work on her game outside of each season with the Potomac Valley Thunder. I'm also really happy that Madison is uh, becoming one of the engineering club. I'm glad she's getting a program that allows her to do what she wants as far as her career as, as well as basketball. Uh, she'll need a lot of uh, ability to adapt to situations as an engineer, which she always did on the team, playing many different positions and, and working at whatever we need her to do. To do. Um, she is uh, undoubtedly the best long passer we ever had, and, and my favorite moment will be the night she had four threes against uh, Thomas Johnson. It was a big night for her, and I know her and her family really enjoyed it. Congratulations. Congratulations to Madison. We know that playing at the college level takes a lot of hard work, but we also know that Madison is one to put in that work. Hi, this is Pat Skelchuk, Churchill Varsity Baseball Coach. I'd like to congratulate Eddie Akopian on his commitment to Cypress College. Very strong JUCO program out in California. 
Eddie's been a utility player for Churchill for three years. Started, you know, nearly all those games that he played in. And he was going to have a monster senior year. He, uh, he projects in college as a corner infielder, outfielder. Uh, he may get an opportunity to play some middle infield also. Uh, if the kid keeps growing, if he keeps getting stronger, he's going to do some big things. He has great movements in the infield. Um, his running speed's improving, and he's shown that he can he can hit the hell out of the ball. So, best of luck to you, Eddie. Uh, we'll miss having you at practice, moving game speed all the time. That's for sure. You're probably one of the biggest reasons why we had good practices and our program was getting better. So, I hope one day you're a coach. All right, bud. See you. Hi, Pascal Chalk, varsity baseball coach, Churchill High School. Just want to congratulate Jesse Lacefield on his commitment to Catholic University. Uh, he's going to be playing there with a uh, former uh, Bulldog, Ben Nardi. Um, they, they should really make an impact on that team. Uh, Jesse's a big time utility player for us, can play anywhere and play anywhere well. Just like I, I, I said earlier, he is an impact player. Lefty bat. Throws mid-80s. He led our division in strikeouts on the mound last year. He was our starting catcher for three years. Uh, he, he, plays, <laughs> he plays all positions at practice. Uh, senior year, it looked like he was going to play multiple positions. I'm sure he's bummed out about not only missing the season, but that opportunity to play a lot of positions. But uh, w what I remember most about Jesse was when he was a sophomore, we he was our backup catcher our starter got hurt like first week of the season and jesse stepped in he caught every game no backup catcher behind him so we rolled the dice sent him out there day in and day out and he didn't get hurt and he held that position for a while and then eric Ridner came around and they split time and gave us the opportunity to use jesse and other spots where we had a you know a need so you'll be greatly missed jesse take care bud and good luck at Catholic. Hey, I'm Chris Stavis, coach of the Churchill Swim and Dive team, here to talk about graduating senior Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy is a four-year letter winner he contributed a tremendous amount in the distance freestyle events in his career at Churchill. He improved steadily throughout his four years and never complained about having to swim our most taxing events week in and week out at dual meets. He was a Metro scorer in both his junior and senior years, and a state scorer his senior year. His presence will be missed both on the pool deck and in the distance freestyle events in the coming years. He will continue his swimming career at Gettysburg College. Congratulations, Jack, and good luck. coach of the Churchill Swim and Dive team here to talk about graduating senior Daniel Nagard. Daniel is a four-year letter winner and made an immediate impact as a freshman, which is quite rare for a boy on a varsity team. He was a fixture for us in the 100 breaststroke all four years and contributed in butterfly, IM, and spring freestyle events as well. Daniel was a true team player and willingly filled some holes for us this season by swimming some events that weren't his best. Daniel was a Metro scorer all four years and state scorer three years was a major factor in our team winning division titles the past three years, Metro Championship in 2018, and a state championship in 2018 and 2019. Daniel will continue his swimming career at Swarthmore College. Congratulations, Daniel, and good luck. Hey Josh, just want to congratulate you for signing with Villanova. I was disappointed that the season got cut short, but I hope you have a great time in college. Yep. Hi, my name is Lee Rubino and I'm going to play lacrosse at Butler University next year. 
Congrats, Leah. Congrats. Congrats. Go Butler Bulldogs. Go this is my first year to coach Leah. I first met Leah in my interview, and she has had an awesome personality since the start. She is so passionate about the game and an incredible leader both on and off the field. Leah was so excited to start her senior year that she took the initiative to get workouts started right away. She demonstrated a positive, energetic attitude no matter what she was doing. Leah is a fantastic dual athlete for both lacrosse and basketball. Although I didn't have the chance to formally coach Leah on this season because of her incredible basketball team making it so far into playoffs, I knew it would have been an excellent experience and a player I wouldn't forget. I am hoping to finish off the season with you this year, Leah, but if I don't, I know that you're going to do incredible things for the Butler lacrosse program, and I wish you the best of luck. Hello, we are here to congratulate Leah Rabina for committing to Butler University for lacrosse. Yes, we are her basketball coaches, but we are extremely proud of Leah's commitment um, as a student athlete to both sports and beyond uh, throughout high school. Leah is a four-year varsity player for both sports, which is an amazing achievement. And although Leah is extremely athletic, um, she puts in a ton of hard work, whether it's for lacrosse or basketball. In fact, um, the coaching staff would consider her our probably most improved player throughout the course of high school uh, that we've ever had. Definitely, Leah was the most improved we ever had uh, and probably the hardest worker coming to extra sessions, doing whatever she could to help the team. I know basketball was her second sport, but uh, she led the team in, in steals this year with uh, 97. Uh, she was second on the team in rebounds and, and wound up as our third leading uh, uh, person in steals uh, for her career. Um, hard to say a favorite mo moment with Leah other than I just really loved watching her play and uh, tracking down the opponents, unsuspecting opponents, uh, that they were about to get a steal taken from them and they didn't even know it was coming. I uh, always enjoyed watching her do that. Her, her, she really played her trade really well. I look forward to hopefully getting to see you play someday and, and <laughs> wish you a lot of luck at Butler. Congratulations, Leah, and may you drive your opponents crazy on the lacrosse field in the next four years as well. coach of the Churchill Swim and Dive team here to talk about graduating senior Noah Ruppert. Noah was a four-year letter winner and team captain his senior year. Probably graduates as one of the most decorated swimmers in Churchill Swim and Dive history. He was a Metro and State scorer all four years and graduates as the current holder of two NCPS records in the 100 back and 100 free. He obviously holds the Churchill school records in those events as well. He also holds, holds our school record in the 200 IM and is part of two relay school records uh, the 200 medley relay and the 400 free relay. He has three individual state championships to his name, as well as a Metro uh, championship. And this past winter, outside of Churchill swimming with his club team, he qualified for the 2020 Olympic trials, now the 2021 Olympic trials, in his best event, the 200 back. Uh, he will continue his swimming career at the University of North Carolina. We're proud of you, Noah. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, I'm happy today to speak about Rebecca Schiff, who will be continuing her field hockey career at Oberlin College next year. I've been fortunate to know Becca since long before she entered high school through field hockey clinics and camps. And I can say that Becca has matured into an intelligent, determined, and passionate young woman. And boy, does she have a passion for field hockey. You name the local field hockey organization and Becca was probably involved in it. She played on the forward and midfield line for us at Churchill and despite dealing with injury, she ended her, her career with two goals and 10 assists. Furthermore, every year that Becca was on our team, uh, we won division and regional championships and we went to the state tournament. Becca was selected as the Churchill Athlete of the Month in August of 2018. She has put in a ton of work over her high school career and I know this young woman with a passion for field hockey will thrive at Oberlin. Congratulations. Becca. This was my first year to coach Becca. She had an awesome and positive personality. 
she was never afraid to make mistakes and always put in 100% of effort no matter what she was doing. Becca is a speedy, quick athlete, and I wish I had the chance to coach her longer in lacrosse because I know she would have made an excellent lacrosse player someday soon. I wish you the best of luck at Overland College, Becca, and I know you're going to do incredible things for their field hockey program. Today, I'm happy to speak about Emily Shima Bukuro, who's continuing her lacrosse career at Oberlin College, and she played field hockey at Churchill. Emily has incredible coordination, powerful athleticism, and utter selflessness that made our team so much stronger. Even though field hockey wasn't Emily's favorite sport, she trained just as hard and she competed at a high level. Emily ended her field hockey career with us with two goals and four assists. Emily sets high standards for herself and her drive and determination get her where she wants to go. One season, Emily's teammates nicknamed her the pocket knife because she's just so resourceful. I know Emily's character and her hard work will take her far at Oberlin. Congratulations, Emily. I've been Emily's coach for almost a year now. Emily has such an awesome, positive and bubbly attitude. She was so dedicated to her team and making sure to be a leader both on and off the field. She inspired everyone to give their best effort and to become a better version of themselves on the lacrosse field. Although our season may have been cut short before it could officially begin, I know that Emily would have dominated the offensive end of the field and would have been one of the top scorers in Montgomery County. I'm so sad that I didn't get the privilege to coach you more, but I know you're going to go above and beyond at Overland College, and I wish you the best of luck. Chris Tappas, coach of the Churchill Swim and Dive team, here to talk about graduating senior Rory Stumpf. A four-year letter winner, Rory exhibited tremendous character throughout his career on the Churchill Swim and Dive team. His best events for much of his career happened to also be events that our team was very deep in, and so he sometimes found himself out of meat lineups or not able to contribute as much as he wanted to. Despite this, he never complained or begged for more opportunities. Instead, he completely reinvented himself between his junior and senior seasons and became one of our top middle-distance freestylers this past season. He scored at both metros and states his senior year and is part of our school record 400 freestyle relay team. I'm proud to have gotten to watch Rory progress over the past four years. I wish him luck as he continues his swimming career at Vassar College. Congratulations, Rory. talk about graduating senior Quinn Westwood. After transferring to Churchill after his freshman year, Quinn was our top diver for the past three seasons. He was a dominant dual meet diver and never finished worse than fifth at Metros or sixth at States. His best finishes being a second place finish at Metros in 2018 and third place at States in 2018 and 2019. Quinn and his fellow divers were a major factor in the team's success over the past few years, which includes three straight division championships and a Metro championship in 2018. He was dive team captain his senior year and helped the team tremendously by leading dive practices and coordinating dive sheets every week. Quinn will continue his diving career at Penn State University. Congratulations, Quinn, and good luck. <laughs> 